everyone. Um, so firstly, thank you for having me along. It's it's. I'm so used to doing events in person, and I still haven't quite got my head around the the feeling of speaking to people who you know I can I can normally interact with and and you know speak to before and after and all these things virtual. It's cool, but it's just not quite the same. So it is great to 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 talk to you um, about what we're doing with ISVs. I'm going to share my screen uh, a second so you can see. I've, I've got one or two slides just to kind of illustrate some of the things I'm talking about. Um, so let me get that going. And uh, so by way of a quick intro, my name is James Marshall. I'm the Azure Sales Lead for our unmanaged customers in the UK, so our SMB and uh, an unmanaged business. Um, and I really want to just talk to you a little bit about our perspective on on ISV. I don't have too many slides, like I say. I've got a short amount of time. We've got a good audience size here. That if you want to ask me any questions, then then please do. I want to make sure that I answer as much of what you'd like to know about than just sort of transmit at you for, for the next few minutes. But for those of you that kind of don't uh, know too much or aren't so, so close to the sort of uh, way we think about the SMB business, it's always worth just running through that for a second. So <clears throat> we have our enterprise business and our managed customers at that end. And we have our corporate business at the top of the triangle that you can see. And as far as the unmanaged business goes, we think about it in three buckets. We have our top unmanaged, our medium sized businesses, and then the, the, the breadth, the small businesses. And you can see that there's a significant opportunity from an Azure perspective in, in these uh, segments. And to be really honest, ISV, you know, that's that's absolutely where it's at. Increasingly, customers are of the type that they want to consume solutions rather than building their own infrastructure and and you know, relying on an integration partner to come and deploy that or a managed services provider to help them manage. <clears throat> Certainly it's true for the larger customers, they'll have IT estates that require that, but for many of the smaller customers and certainly the ones in that medium sized bracket, they're all about solutions, whether it's SaaS or marketplace driven, they, you know, they, they just want to consume outcomes. So as I think about where our priorities lie from a Microsoft perspective, ISV is one of the top three priorities uh, that that we're trying to to uh, address, if you like, certainly this fiscal year and and beyond. The other two, by the way, first and foremost is migration. So dealing with the technical legacy of on-premises servers, out of date Windows Server and SQL, those kinds of things. There's still masses to go after there in terms of migrating that into the cloud. The second is around organizational agility. So Windows Virtual Desktop powered from from my perspective, but how do we empower people to work anywhere uh, on any device? As you can imagine, over the last several months, that's become particularly relevant for many businesses who've needed to pivot to, you know, empowering people to work from home, maybe on an unmanaged device. You know, how do they secure that and still keep their employees productive and that kind of thing? And then thirdly, as I say, ISV, how do we get you guys thinking about building your applications and modernizing your applications on the Azure platform. And indeed, then once you're there, how do we help you be successful in getting to market, generating you know, business opportunity and, and connecting with customers? So uh, those are the sort of top three um, Uber priorities, if you like. Um, uh, just a little, a tiny little bit of UK market context. <coughs> so, uh, you, you know, as I'm sure you will hopefully feel, the UK is a very buoyant uh, market for tech companies in general. Uh, we see huge investment for startups. Um, there are 77 unicorns at last count in in the UK. So, you know, we feel pretty good that this is a that there's there's a lot of rich opportunity out there if you're if you're in the ISV or startup space. Um, and that's really where we have some programs to help. So you'll be pleased to know that's kind of the end of the slides that I have. Um, we have we have several ways that, that we can help with this. And I'll just go back to to me now so you're not sort of bored with with a slide view. Firstly, you know, as 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 unmanaged partners of Microsoft effectively, we have the partner ecosystem. So that self-service ecosystem that is there through partner.microsoft.com. 
where if you want to find out more about transacting with Microsoft and building on the marketplace and doing all these things and you feel pretty self um you know empowered to do that like you know you've got the time and resource to help you on those all the documentation is there so you can just go to partner.microsoft.com if you're not already a microsoft partner you can sign up and become one and if you are then you can sign in and access all of those resources and that's you know that's available just 24 by 7 anyone can access that and similarly with things like docs.microsoft.com so if you want to know more about how to access and integrate with our commerce platforms or you know think about how you create the right offers on our marketplace whatever it might be there's docs.microsoft.com again in that self-service way you can access all of the materials that you need but i'm mindful that many of you might want more of a leg up more hands-on help you know more proactivity <clears throat> and obviously clearly you wouldn't be here today if you weren't aware of our partner ecosystem so we have fantastic partners who can help you do certain things and get you started and get you skilled and, and get you building and migrating and whatever it is that you might want to to do to augment that we have some some other specific offerings uh, things like solution workspace which is available through uh, Partner Center for those of you that, that have access to Partner Center as a Microsoft partner. Solution Workspace is really there to provide uh, you with um, an end-to-end -end journey as far as building your solutions goes with Microsoft. So it's, it's a more structured walkthrough of all the things that you need to consider to take your solution uh, to market from you know what might start as an idea all the way through to then getting that uh, actually out the door uh, and into market um it's available to all partners uh, you just need to be you need to be unmanaged so so you know um not having a microsoft formal engagement you can access a virtual <coughs> partner development uh, manager through the solution workspace kind of journey and you get all sorts of expert advice not just for azure but across modern workplace and biz apps as well um, and so that's a really good place to to go if you've got an idea in mind that you, you know you, you think you want to build around you can get th to it through partner center or if you just go to aka.ms forward slash solution workspace you can find out more about that the other one to call out, which was probably going to be is going to be useful to, to most people, is the cloud enablement desk. So again, another program that's available for all partners unmanaged, um, and it's it's to support you uh, again in a more structured and, and programmatic way uh, around technical expertise, marketplace readiness, getting your solutions ready for co-sell if that's the way that you want to go thinking about how you activate lead sharing between yourselves and microsoft get up to speed with your competency all all of those sorts of things that you might want to consider the cloud enablement desk is there to help you um, and really it will help you derive the most value from your investment in microsoft so you know where you invest in those um, competencies and invest in acquiring the benefits that you get through those the cloud enablement desk will help you get those working for you really really well um, there are others uh, which are available but on a more qualified basis so we have programs like our fast track for isv uh, program that's much more hands-on with real uh, life face-to-face uh, -face, you know, virtual engagement from engineering teams and and there's a, a great deal of structure around that uh, to help you accelerate your your transition to Azure whether it's migrating existing apps or modernizing them or indeed developing cloud native applications the reason I don't want to highlight too much on that today is because there's more qualification behind that in terms of uh, spend and, uh, and other criteria that might matter but if that's something that you want to to explore more absolutely shout um, after this and we can make sure that we follow up with the right details and maybe have a, a more exploratory discussion about how that might fit for for your needs um, so they're the main things really the the structure of the smb opportunity is absolutely driven by isv you know, that's that's the heart and soul of how we get to the to the most of our unmanaged uh, customers and as i said there's a few ways that we can help uh, you guys as isvs get the best out of microsoft firstly as i mentioned 
those self-service resources through Partner Center and docs.microsoft.com. And then those more programmatic engagements, things like solution workspace and the cloud enablement desk, they're there to help you um, get the very best, but in a more directional, um, more structured way. And that's it really in a nutshell. It's very simple. There's obviously our rebates and incentive programs and other things that come with being a Microsoft partner that layer into helping drive your profitability and help you be successful that way. Uh, but really I wanted to call out Cloud Enablement Desk and Solution Workspace as the two things that you may not have heard of uh, before to go away and, and look at um, to see how they might help. With that in mind, I, I kind of want to open it out really and, and get questions and feedback from people. That was perfect, James. Um, yeah, just a, just a, a, a addition to, for me is obviously a lot of these things we can help with. So we've, um, you know, we've got experience with our current ISV customers where we've together with Microsoft gone through these materials and really helped to build out that Azure migration journey. And as we spoke about at the, uh, the very beginning, the opportunity for Azure is huge and the ISV um, sort of wedge if you like into that market space is is realized by both us and microsoft as a as an avenue for encouraging cloud migration and then also encouraging innovation further is there any questions from anybody for james at all take that I think as a we've captured a few on the way as well i think we've got yeah. um isabel and nathan um joined us kind of halfway through so i don't know if you guys can hear us or you've got any unique questions because you know, we, we captured a lot from the beginning. I um, don't know if you've got any anything you want to add or, or talk about. I mean, one thing that we potentially did want to look at um, is obviously we've spoken about Cloud Pilot um, quite a lot as a, an opportunity to evaluate your current application. And obviously as part of um, the assessment team, we can offer and nominate you guys for Cloud Pilot assessments that depending on um, the eligibility criteria, you would uh, have funded by uh, Microsoft as a first step into understanding the, the next steps in your application Azure journey. Um, that's something that we could certainly leverage and, and obviously James, I guess, um, it's something that, you know, if, if, if people feel that they uh, they want to take this the next step further, then it's well worth being nominated for um, programs like that. Absolutely, for sure, definitely. 